Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. Very excited to bring you my first hands on video with Windows 11. This is build 2200.51 for Windows Insiders on the dev channel. This is from the CEO release branch. Well, what can I say? First, first preview of Windows 11. Uh, so I'm going to go through some of the UI changes and some of the visual changes with Windows uh, 11 and some of the other th nice things like audio uh, changes as well. Just to give you my first impressions, I've just installed this, so um, I'm just about ready to start looking at what we can do with it. I've loaded a couple of things up and I reset my theme to the Windows 11 Lite theme. It did carry over my previous theme, but I thought I'd start with this uh, nice Windows 11 theme. So first thing you can see is we've got this new taskbar centered at the bottom, the new notification area with the new icons and the new start menu. Uh, so gone are the old live tiles and the squares and now we've got these nice curved edges and slight drop shadows on there to give it sort of that uh, textured feel. It looks really nice and nice and clean. So what you get here are pinned apps. So this is like you did with the old start menu where you can pin apps or you can go to your all apps list and pin something so if you if you're using something frequently you can pin that to there so I know one thing that I um, often do is use a snip and sketch so I could uh, choose to pin that to start and I can go back now and that will be on there also down here is recommended section so these are documents I've worked on recently and this is using um, the cloud storage to OneDrive and other algorithms to sort of uh, get you that to get you that look so I like really like it. it's not a nice uh, nice color to this uh, to this start menu so down here on the taskbar I can move things around open apps close it you see even the like task manager there you see it's got the nice curved edges on there and it's got little subtle animations on there as you as you move those around uh, notifications center and action centers change so let's go to say volume control so there you can see I've got um, Bluetooth connected and the you know, battery saver and the old volume settings the new sounds as well there's action center um, so you see you get your calendar up there and then you get the applications as well oh this looks slightly like Windows 10x um, but it certainly looks a lot cleaner a lot fresher than the old uh, Windows 10 I also noticed as well file explorer has changed you've got this new ribbon here so I've got this new ribbon with the actions in there for delete and cut copy and, and so on. And you've even got some context sensitive ones like the rotate because it knows its images and that kind of thing. So and you've got a new button to create new items. And there's the old options for it as well. So again, looks a new look to that as well, which looks really nice. Uh, one thing I noticed as well is the, when I was trying the um, when I was changing the theme is uh, there's themes in there that you can pick from. So that's the one I picked at the moment, the Windows Light. But I could it's retained some of my old themes, and I could go to say uh, Windows 10 Dark. So like you've got so I've got dark and light mode. I can have the transparencies accent color I'm gonna make that automatic so it looks very nice that apparently the sounds change as well depending on the um, in the light or dark mode as well good to see that the old uh, control panel one is still there because I still do use this for some stuff um, when I'm doing the podcasting so it's good to see that's still in there so uh, let's have, I want to see now what the sounds are so we can listen to some of them on here. There's the asterisk one, calendar. Critical stop, that's the one which something's crashed. So you can see they've just got a new, as you can hear, they've got a new sort of lighter sound to them. 
a lot of them seem to be the, the, the same sound but anyway new sounds which is good and like I said they, they do change as well between light and dark mode now something else which is new is uh, widgets I've not tried this yet so let's have a look at that so Windows W and this is not that dissimilar to the news and interests that you had um, that you had in Windows uh, Windows 10 but uh, you've got so I've got the weather I've got some news stocks OneDrive by the looks of it um, and you can choose to add widgets to that so I could add, um, add the traffic on there as well and uh, maybe I'll add a calculator to that as well so it's got a nice a nice look to it and like I said not too similar to news and interests but um, it's good to see that in there so Windows W bring that in and out and I guess that that'll get as it gets more uh, items in there and the more useful it'll get you'll get used to sort of using that now there's some uh, productivity improvements in for multitasking particularly around you how you organize the screen um, so I'm gonna open a couple of windows on this um, oh there's the widget icon as well and here's the task view so it's showing my desktop 1 and desktop 2 those are the applications that I'm currently running so if I do Windows key and Z, you can choose which layout I want. Now this is going to be great for, especially if you've got big monitors. Uh, I'm going to run on this on Surface Go, but if I was running it on my 4K monitor, it's great to sort of set up those areas and choose what layouts I want. So I can choose that layout, and I'll have uh, settings in there, and I'll have a store there. So that looks really good. So and that's just uh, Windows and the Z key, and uh, that'll in invoke that layout switcher uh, which looks great and of course you've got windows and the tab key uh, for desktops and you can create new desktops and have them for a specific task so if you've got video editing you can video editing desktop or audio editing or maybe workflow or maybe you've got a browsing one you can create multiple desktops on there so that's something I'm going to investigate a bit further I uh, mentioned store we've got a new updated store as well and um, this is really f a developer is going to have to put more applications in there we're going to have have to have a look at the store and I'll have a bit more time spend with that but that's uh, certainly a new way of uh, looking at your applications I found the previous store pretty tricky for searching and especially viewing your library which this now works so I can choose an application and install it from here or um, yeah I can I can do the updates and everything from here so uh, that looks good as well and one thing I can't show you in this video is docking because I've got the screen capture set up so I'll uh, perhaps do another video with that um, but it, it does things like remembering multiple desktops where you were when you were working on that which which is good right some other personalization and some other some other things to look at we've got um, the improved touch keyboard this is carried over from I think uh, 21h on from Windows 10 um, so this new style of keyboard which you can back you can um, change the background images and customize that there's also a new uh, voice input uh, so I can uh, show you that so this is the voice input so let's so this is voice input so I'm going to give that a try and it looks pretty good actually I tend not to use voice input but uh, it seems to work quite well that's quite good as well that I, that uh, it I said 10, it's a 10 and then it seemed to understand the context of it and correct that as well which is see the I'm just popped my surface pen on there you see the pen uh, icon appeared there automatically and uh, I liked how it shuffled everything around as well so I've got just press the top of my surface pen and the little pen uh, menu popped up on there as well and um, there's some other interesting stuff as well like dynamic refresh rates for um, 
for when you're doing scrolling and that kind of thing. So let me just have a quick look at that. Here's the new display uh, setting screen as well. So you can see everything's in one place and it remembers the multi-monitor stuff. That's what I was saying before about uh, you remembering to connect those up. So we're going to hit an advanced display settings here and uh, you can choose the refresh rate on here and if your device supported um, dynamic refresh rate then it would be on here this currently this surface go isn't currently supporting that but they may well add that as well so you get you get that so as you can see here settings has had uh, a real uh, change to it so here you can see settings and this has had a lot of changes um, I need to dive into these and go and check things but you've got here your system settings um, so a lot of things have been up updated so you've got system settings let's say we've already looked at the sound uh, you've got like notification ones and this will show us what applications we're getting notifications from there's our battery one I won't go into every one of these now, but uh, I'll spend a bit of time and we'll be able to have a look and see what's worth showing you. That's quite good. It shows you a bit more information about the uh, battery levels. Uh, that's uh, that's quite nice. Here's the network one, so you can see all our network settings in one place. So I should change that to private, actually. Um, but here I can see the DHCP settings and so on. A lot of the time I end up in Windows 10 going into the old settings so maybe it'd be good to see if I can manage to do all that in in here as well and here's the new Windows update That's a um, new look screen as well as you can see every screen has kind of had that visual uh, refresh and, so, and spent some time on it so this is my there we've got an update so this is my first look at Windows 11 this is running on Surface Go. The it, the performance, I would say, is exactly the same as it was with Windows 10. I was close to wiping this machine when it was running Windows 10 to give it a clean experience with Windows 11, but actually, I did the in-place upgrade. I'm very tempted now to, to, to wipe it and, uh, and to see what the performance is like, because it used to be quite good, but over time, this is a lot of Windows 10 test builds on it, so over time, this has got a bit sluggish, so I am contemplating resetting that and uh, sticking that on um, on a clean uh, a reset which I do through the updates uh, which I can do through uh, through the uh, recovery setting and just give it a nice clean start I'm also going to play around with some of these themes as well um, to see which ones I like um, and flip between light and dark mode Microsoft, can, can, this is for, I should say, for Windows Insiders. Microsoft can continue getting new builds out for Windows Insiders over the next few months before it goes to general release. So, so I'll be bringing you um, build videos uh, as Microsoft release new builds, and I'll be showing you the changes. I'm going to spend some time now with Windows 11 and uh, see what else I can find, and I'll follow up with another video when I've got some more, more information to show you. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. You can like on YouTube if you do and you can find me on Twitter at Ayers Dixon.